Good morning everybody on Tuesday the 9th of February. So we are back to our shape unit, our 2D shape unit. So let's go through the vocabulary. Maybe you could join in with saying these words with me. 2D, circle, triangle, square, rectangle, pentagon, hexagon, octagon, semicircle, rhombus, trapezium, parallelogram, sides, vertices, symmetrical. So, so far this week, you have revised naming your 2D shapes and counting how many sides and vertices they have. You've also been drawing your 2D shapes. Um, that's what we're going to focus on today. And then we'll have a think about sorting them. We'll also be looking at symmetry and recognising it and drawing it. And finally, we'll finish the week with making some patterns using our 2D shapes. So let's warm up our maths brains first. Here's your flashback four. Press pause and have a go. Great stuff. So I decided to do this one by saying um, that I know three times five equals 15. So 15 divided by, and I'm just going to grab my math symbols, divided by 5 equals 3. So 15 divided by 5 equals 3. You might have used some equipment to help you get that answer or drawn a picture and that's perfectly fine too. So next question, there are 10 crayons in each pack. How many crayons are there all together? So I can see I have got three packets of 10 crayons which gives me 30 or well, I might have done 10 add 10 add 10 to get 32 and that's perfectly right as well it's absolutely fine so we've now got a little sequence here and I can spot it counting backwards because the ones numbers are getting smaller so, and I can also see that we're counting back in twos. So 16, 14, 12, count back in twos. We've got eight and five, 10, and then finally we have got eight. So 16, 14, 12, 10, and eight. So our last question says, find the sum of nine, five, and one. So the sum means we are going to be adding nine, with five and one. Now I have noticed, and this is a really good little trick to learn, that nine add one makes 10, which is our number bond to 10, and then 10 and five more gives us 15. So nine add five add one equals 15. Brilliant. So let's have a look at what we're learning today. We're going to be thinking about how to draw some 2D shapes using our squared paper in our books and a ruler maybe to help us. So first of all, I would like you to pause the video and think, see if you can remember those shape names. And is there anything you can remember about what they are like, maybe their properties? Brilliant. So. As I point to them, let's say their names. So we've got square, hexagon, rectangle, triangle, pentagon, and a semicircle. Now, to help me draw them, I need to think about if there's any special features. Because I can see a square and a rectangle both have four vertices and both have four sides. But I can see that the square is special because its sides are all the same size. And the rectangle has got two short sides, and two long sides. So let me see if I can copy two of these shapes on my squared paper. Well, I'm going to you draw the square to help me. And I'm going to make sure that my sides are the same length. So I'm going to go across three squares. I'm now going to go down three squares and across three squares. 
And then finally, down three squares. Okay, so there we have a square with sides equal in length. Now, maybe I could choose a slightly trickier one to have a go at. I think maybe I'll have a go at this pentagon. So I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to come, I think I'm going to go across two and down one. If I do the same on the other side as well, and then I'm going to come down like this. I'm going to go, and then, hmm, well, I think that's a really good attempt at drawing a pentagon. It's really similar looking. I have got five sides, and I've got five vertices. Now I'm just going to borrow, because I know what's on the next slide, I'm going to borrow this triangle. Because the next slide says, can you draw three different triangles? Press pause and see if you could have a go. So, most of us think that the triangle looks like this. And I can draw that triangle. Let me have a go at drawing that triangle. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to go down three and across two. I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then I'm going to go across the bottom. So that triangle looks really similar to this one. But a triangle can look any shape it likes. It can be any can be different as long as it has got three sides and three three vertices, so I'm going to go like this. So this is still a triangle. It doesn't look the same as this one, but I've still got one, two, three vertices and one, two, three sides. I wonder if I can draw a different one again. So I'm going to do a really short side and then I'm going to do a really, I'm going to see, let me see, um, and let me see what I can do, um, maybe I go across here, here we go, there we go, a different triangle again, I could even see if I could uh, draw one, I've got a few different triangles I'm trying to draw today. Okay, so there we go. I have got, I've drawn, managed to draw four different triangles. How many did you, did you manage to get three different ones? So let's have a think about a different shape then. So, what about a hexagon? Can you have a go at doing two different hexagons? Remember, what do you know about a hexagon? Brilliant. So you've had a go at drawing a hexagon. Did you remember a hexagon has six sides? I'm just going to jot this down so I remember. Six sides and six vertices. So I need to remember when I'm drawing my hexagon to have those elements, those properly. So let me get my straight line tool out again. So I'm going to start. I'm going to have a go at doing it this way. So I'm going to draw... So I've drawn two sides, and now I'm going to draw, there we go, there's two sides. So I've got four sides, five sides, and finally I've got six sides. So one, two, three, four, five, six sides and six vertices. Now I need to draw a different one this time. So I'm going to go one side, two sides, three sides, four sides, five sides, six sides. So let me count them. Let me see. One, two, three. Actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to do so I don't lose where I count, start counting. I'm just going to put a nice big dot here. That's where I've started. So I've got, I'm going to count the vertices. So I've got one, 
two, three, four, five, six vertices. Brilliant, six vertices. And have I got six sides? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Brilliant, I've got six sides. So it doesn't have to look like this. This one is what we call probably a regular hexagon. If the sides were all the same length, it would be a regular hexagon. And we are very used to seeing hexagons looking very similar to this one. But this is still a hexagon because it has its six sides and its six vertices. So now we've got Annie and she's drawing her shape. Have a think which shape using these clues has Annie drawn? And can you have a go at drawing Annie's shape? Brilliant. So let's see. My shape has five vertices. So straight away, let's cross off the shapes that it cannot be. So it's not that one because it's got no vertices. This one has got four vertices. This one's got four vertices. And this one's got four. This one's only got three vertices. Now, let me check these two. So I've got going to just get my highlighter so I know where I've started. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six vertices. And if I get my highlighter again, I'm going to start there. And I have got one, two, three, four, five vertices. So Annie has drawn remember the name of the shape? Well done, a pentagon. So I have to have a go now at drawing this pentagon. I had to go earlier, didn't I? Let me see if I can um, have another go, see if it's going to be any different. Here we go. I'm using the squares to help me get my straight lines and make it as similar as I can to Annie's shape. Brilliant. So this is a little bit of a thinking question now. So this young lady has drawn, she says she has drawn a triangle. Have a think. So what do you think? I do agree with Whitney. I am going to say no. And why am I saying no? When do I you say no? I am saying no. Because look, it's not got, for me, I would like to see three really straight sides using a ruler. Whereas these ones are a little bit bendy. It makes it look like it's got more sides. So I am going to put no, and I'm going to say why. Because it has more than three I'm going to put straight as well, straight sides. Because if I have a look carefully, I think I'm going to get my high. I'm going to get my highlighter because I think there's one side that goes from here to here, and then one that goes from here to here. So I think she's got lots of sides because where it changes direction. That's a corner or a vertice. Okay, so let's have a think of your activities today. So, a really simple activity to start. So, can you have a go at drawing a square, a triangle and a pentagon onto your squared paper? Have a look at the properties and use the squares on your paper to help you. We then got, oh no, Teddy has accidentally dropped some paint on his, or some ink on his shape. I wonder what shape it could be. What clues are there and how do you know? And finally, can you follow the instructions? Make sure your piece of paper is the same number of squares as big as this one. Can you follow the instructions to create this picture? Looking forward to seeing all your shapes on Dojo later. Have a great day.